Welcome to Bula Johannesburg. Here at Bula, we manufacture plant equipment for the processing of foods. We manufacture chain conveyors for grain processing and for the mining and power generation industry. We offer a strong and trusted local presence in Africa with a state-of-the-art workshop and a local stock of spare parts. It is our priority to eliminate all work-related injuries and illnesses, to enhance the well-being of our employees and preserve the natural environment for future generations. The following health and safety video will instruct you on how to conduct yourself in hazardous work environments around the facility. All persons on site are subject to our general site rules which should be adhered to by all employees, visitors and contractors visiting or performing working activities while on site. General site rules cover the following. Driving while on site. Walking in demarcated areas. Personal protective equipment or PPE. Lifting equipment overhead cranes, working at heights, hot works, stop and intervene. This allows any individual to stop unsafe work that is taking place. Every person entering the Bula premises will do so through reception where they will be temperature scanned with a thermal device. The following COVID rules will apply. Always practice social distancing where possible. A clean mask must be worn at all times. Follow up every activity by washing or sanitizing your hands. Remember, it is our responsibility to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. If you suspect one of your co-workers is showing COVID-19 symptoms, it is your responsibility to alert your team leaders immediately. Random COVID screenings will be done throughout the day. Failure to comply will result in disciplinary action. Bula provides an annual medical assessment to all employees, which requires your medical assessment documents to be valid and up to date. When entering the site, it is important to note that smoking is prohibited in the building and persons may only smoke in the designated smoking areas clearly marked outside. The consumption of alcohol is not permitted on any Bula sites. Vehicles entering the site are subject to all the on-site road rules. Vehicles must adhere to the speed limits allocated to each area and must reverse park in all designated parking areas. Pedestrians must stay on the designated walkways when navigating the site. Ensure that you're wearing the correct PPE if you're in a designated PPE area. All persons on site are subject to our security protocol. Access control regulates rules that need to be adhered to by everyone entering the site. All visitors are required to sign in at the gate and then proceed through to reception. Non-employees should be accompanied at all times. All contractors, visitors and Bula employees are subject to random searches upon leaving the premises. All employees, subcontractors and visitors will be inducted prior to entering the facility. Employees and contractors must provide Bula with a safety file prior to work. Work can commence on site if the file is up to Bula's standards. Contractors will be provided with the Bula specific safety file requirements prior to arriving on site. Persons entering our facility are required to wear the relevant protective gear for the corresponding designated areas. Pay attention to the signage at each work area to determine the appropriate PPE for that area. General PPE requirements include visibility vests, steel toe safety shoes and earplugs. Ensure they fit snugly into your ear. Safety glasses are required while performing work activities. Some of our high-risk areas may require extra PPE related to the work done, including respiratory equipment and safety glasses for spray painting, safety glasses and gloves for the sandblasting booth, safety glasses, gloves and safety boots for the rolling machine, welding mask with GMAW grade lens, safety boots, oil-free leather gloves and respiratory protection for the boiler shop and welding section. The correct use of protective equipment must be worn when handling hazardous chemical substances. All routine work activities need to be accompanied by a job card and all high-risk activities need to be accompanied by a permit to work. When performing work, ensure that you have the correct qualifications and PPE to perform the task at hand. We use the three light risk assessment to achieve situational awareness. This technique revolves around three outcomes and determines our actions according to each rule. Red rule. If your work environment has multiple hazards, stop work at once. Escalate the issues to your manager and address the issues one at a time. Should the issues be minor, the situation can be qualified to the amber rule. 
If your work environment has a few potential hazards, stop work and correct those issues. Green Rule If your work environment is risk-free, you may commence work. Once all the issues have been corrected in your work environment, always reassess your environment before commencing work. To ensure proper workstation housekeeping, we follow the 5S rule, namely sorting. Is your workstation tidy, up-to-date and in order? Setting in order. Is your workstation equipped with all the necessary tools and are they in their correct place and labeled? Systematic cleaning. Shine. Is your workstation, surrounding environment and tools clean and clear of contaminants? Standardize. Are your checklists, manuals and documentation in place in your workstation? Is every procedure implemented and standardized? Sustain continuous improvement. Has everyone been trained in the five S's in every workstation? Has the entire process been audited, monitored, improved and maintained to a high standard? All operators of motorized vehicles, forklifts and other equipment shall be in possession of valid proof of training and vehicle-specific licenses. Drivers operating motorized vehicles need to ensure that they abide by standard vehicle safety protocols, such as displaying a valid operator's license, buckling up, making their movements in forklifts heard by using your hooter, ensuring forklift lights and alarms are visible and in working condition, being aware of their surroundings and ensuring their view is not obstructed. Forklift drivers should always adhere to the speed limit rules of the site. All employees working in elevated positions must be trained by an accredited training facility for working at heights and are required to wear an SABS certified full body harness when working at heights. Please ensure to always keep three points of contact while using ladders and stairs. A competent and appointed scaffolding erector shall erect the scaffolding and a scaffolding inspector shall inspect the scaffolding daily and declare whether it is safe to use or not. No work shall be conducted on scaffolds in inclement weather conditions. Employees and subcontractors working with hazardous chemical substances must ensure that hazardous chemical substances are correctly used and stored. Hazardous chemical substances are correctly labeled and the Material Safety Data Sheet or MSDS is displayed at the point of use for the hazardous chemical substances. The correct PPE is used when working with hazardous chemical substances. Hazardous chemical substance spills are cleaned up and disposed of in the correct manner. In the case of exposure or injury involving hazardous chemical substances, the MSDS must be taken to the medical facility or hospital along with the injured person. Lockout, tag out. LOTO is a safety procedure used to ensure that dangerous machines are properly shut off and not able to be started up again prior to the completion of maintenance or repair work. Ensure you have the correct permit to work, PPE and a clear space to perform hot works. Hearing protection should be worn at all times. Specific work areas or stations require additional hearing protection such as noise-cancelling earmuffs or earplugs. Always ensure housekeeping is continuously implemented. All work bays should be kept clean and in an orderly fashion according to the 5S housekeeping rule. Adequate storage areas are provided and demarcated. The storage areas and workspaces are kept neat and under control. Every piece of equipment and PPE is returned to its place. Waste is disposed of in their corresponding bins. Walkways and roads are kept clear. As a manager at Bula, it is your responsibility to lead by example. Always walk the talk and be a role model. Never accept unsafe conditions for you or your colleagues. Always take five minutes when starting your meetings and walks to discuss health and safety, ensuring it is at the forefront of everything we do. Vehicles and equipment must be maintained in good working order and inspected daily before startup. We perform a weekly toolbox talk. Please ensure to attend and use this platform to ask any safety-related questions that you may have. Specialized equipment is inspected monthly, but it is a requirement to pre-inspect your tools before commencement of work. You might encounter the following specialized equipment while on site. Portable electrical equipment, standard hand tools, lifting equipment, mobile equipment, welding equipment, and ladders, etc. Sufficient and suitable storage of flammables are provided throughout the site and inside the offices. 
Flame-proof switches and fittings are to be used in the flammable atmosphere. Good housekeeping is maintained to prevent the accumulation of unnecessary combustibles. Adequate ventilation is maintained. Adequate and suitable fixed and portable fire appliances are provided and maintained in good working order. No person is required or permitted to work in a place where there is a danger of fire or an explosion due to flammable fumes being present unless adequate precautions are taken. A competent emergency coordinator conducts regular emergency identification exercises to make employees aware of potential incidents. Employees must be aware of all emergency evacuation procedures and escape routes. All employees are instructed in the use of fire equipment to extinguish a fire. All evacuation assembly points are demarcated. Evacuation is practiced regularly, ensuring that all persons are evacuated timelessly. Roll call is held after evacuation to account for all personnel and ensure that no one has been left behind. Clearly audible sirens or alarms are fitted throughout the facility. In the event of an accident, the designated first aider will assess the scene and injured person and will apply first aid measures. Should the injured individual require medical attention, a report of the accident must be completed immediately and the injured person taken to the nearest approved medical practitioner. There are different categories of accidents or incidents with different procedures. A near-miss incident is described as any incident that has the potential to cause harm or danger to a person, property, or environment. A first aid incident involves minor injuries not requiring doctor or hospital treatment. In the case of any doubt, have the injured person sent to a doctor or hospital. A medical incident is any injury that requires medical attention from a hospital or doctor. A serious injury or incident is any serious injury, disablement, or risk of death. This also includes any major machinery malfunctions or the uncontrolled release of dangerous substances or substances under pressure. A fatality is an incident that results in the death of any employee or any other person affected by the company's operation. In each case, a series of actions should be followed to ensure the incident is escalated, reported, documented, controlled, and restored. Bula Johannesburg provides first aid as required by General Safety Regulation 3 of the OHS Act. In the case of a severe accident, Bula will arrange immediate transportation for the injured individual or individuals to a medical facility or provide emergency first aid if required. Our 10 life-saving rules are 1. Report unsafe situations 2. Prepare your job tasks 3. Stop the job. Always stop your work if the working environment could be deemed unsafe for you. 4. Working at heights. 5. Lock out, tag out, or lotto. 6. Lift acts. 7. Road safety. 8. Vehicle movement. 9. Safe behavior. And 10. Manager behavior. We make use of an ISO 9001-2015 quality management system, which helps us comply with relevant quality standards. Ensure that appropriate measures, policies, procedures and training are in place and maintained. Take preventative action for identified quality risks. Take corrective action for non-conformances. Regularly audit, review and improve our quality and productivity and communicate with visitors, service providers and staff about quality management. Employees have a responsibility to help improve our quality and productivity and to report any non-compliance with our quality policies and procedures. Bula Johannesburg will protect the environment affected by work or activities and shall prevent pollution of any kind whilst operation is in progress. Any aspects of the environment that are disturbed during the work shall be repaired or rehabilitated to at least the same degree as it was before work commenced. To maintain a safe and healthy working environment, we must all play our part by following all the rules and regulations mentioned in this video. Always be mindful and aware of potential hazards that may affect your well-being or that of others.